Well, hello everybody and um, welcome again to uh, the 21 day challenge. So grateful to be amongst fellow physicians in this group. And um, today we're gonna be talking about the last item on the 21 day challenge, which is inquiring into our thinking. And I've put this one in there, even though it's a little bit of a harder um, ask, it's a little bit of a harder process, but it is so worthwhile because in my own experience, um, I came to a place um, five or six years ago where even though I was meditating a lot and I was doing all of the other practices of the challenge, I came to a really tough spot, both personally and professionally, that was just felt like an impasse. And at that time, it was a really kind of inflection point in my life. It was a really tough place. And a friend had recommended this process called the work, which is basically about questioning the thoughts that cause us so much stress. And as we've been talking about, we have this thought machine in our mind and it's generating 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day. And we understand now that none of those thoughts are actually true, but we keep running them and running them and, and they become the driving source of the stress in our life. And so to be able to get beyond that stressful place, sometimes we have to go back to those stressful thoughts and question them. And that was certainly my experience. And so I started to do this process and um, it was really radically transformative for me. I can't really well put into words what it did for me, but it really kind of brought me back to my love for medicine, love for my children, love for my husband, because all of those in those moments were really lacking and um, feeling kind of so energized by this process. And so wanted to introduce this to you today and super thrilled to have my friend Kelly, who is an emergency room physician, integrative medicine specialist, who is also very experienced in the work, have met her through this process. And she's gonna introduce us to the process called the work today. And so welcome Kelly. Uh, tell me firstly what this process has done for you. Hi Larry, and thanks for having me. What a great invitation to join this amazing group. Um, the work is just a simple tool to help us identify our stressful thoughts and question them so that they don't have a hold over us. And um, for me, just as you spoke to, it's almost impossible to say the amazing changes in my life that have occurred since I've learned to do the work from a physical level of I was in chronic pain and I, I had a lot of um, mental anguish and suffering and had, had essentially been unable to work because of, of all of that. When I found the work, it created such a difference in my life, a feeling of safety and trust. Um, it's shifted my relationships into one that is far more open and loving than I've had with my husband, with my children. It's made me less defensive, more vulnerable, and in just such an amazing open way. And it's given me my voice, like really the empowerment to speak of who I feel to be, to speak my voice, to say my mind, to give and receive feedback without feeling defensive. So it's truly an amazing process and something that's shifted my life completely. Thank you. And I'm really hoping to give people a taste because it's a kind of thing that you sort of like exercise, you know, if you tell, you can tell people how great you feel with exercise and until they do it and get that feeling, it's, it's hard for them to imagine. And so I'm, my desire is that people can get a, a hit of it um, and, um, but for right now, well, we're just going to introduce um, the process itself. So please, please tell us about more about it. Sure. Well, the work is actually a simple tool um, that helps us to identify which thoughts are causing us stress. We use our emotions to identify when we feel stressful. And that leads us to finding the thought that created the emotion in the first place and finding the stress. And it, essentially, it's like a ruler that we can hold our own experience up against and question and to see how accurate and close to our own truth those thoughts actually are. So it's a meditative process. Um, in medicine, there's over 25 articles published in medical journals about the work. It's called Inquiry-Based Stress Reduction in Medicine. So it's really very well supported in medicine and very effective for a wide range of of stress you know, reduction techniques. The, I'm gonna share my screen here for you, but essentially the work is 
simply a tool that helps us identify the thinking. And there's a way that we can do that. There's a system that we'll share with you in another section. But essentially, it's to find the stressful thought, to write it down, to ask four simple questions, and to turn it around. And this is something you can do for yourself. You can do it for someone else. You can have someone support you in it. But it's a very, very simple and incredibly effective tool. I just want to address that writing it down is very important because if we don't write it down, our mind is slippery. And what will happen is we'll try to change that thought just the slightest bit, and then we sort of lose the effectiveness of the work. So it is important to collect the thought and to write it down. After we've written it down, we hold that thought up to these four questions. So once we have the stressful thought, we ask question one. Is Can it? Can I interrupt you a quick second? Sure. What kind of thought? What kind of thought would this work for, though? You know, for like a busy physician, family person. What what kind of thought? Truly, any stressful thought. The best thoughts to use initially, when, until you really learn the process, are just judgments. Mm -hmm. And we have them all the time. Judgments every day that we might not even be aware of, but for a common one might be, for example, like they don't care about me. Mm. They don't care about me. So, you know, I might in, in at work or at home, somebody might say something that makes me feel dismissed or and mm -hmm. they don't care about me. Yeah. Or something maybe could something like, well, my patients are asking too much of me. They ask me too much, yeah. About me like that yes, absolutely any judgment this mm -hmm. is too hard it you know enough time <laughs> not enough time like literally there's there's a whole world of stressful thoughts that we all believe in and mm -hmm. then there's one specific to us and there's no thought that can't hold up to this inquiry and mm -hmm. since you asked Lara it's not only stressful thoughts that we can question we can question any thought that we have but you know why <laughs> yeah. thrilled and everything's going well and you're feeling amazing you don't need to so you so, would go start this process when you have a stressful thought that's sort of what gets this you know it's soon there is soon after that you have it that you recognize that you're feeling stress yeah 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 that's the time to say huh what just happened there what was i thinking yeah and collect that thought write it down and then take that thought for example he doesn't care about me and we ask these four questions and the answers come as we sit mindfully in our own meditative space. We just check in with ourselves. We get still in whatever situation it happened in and we feel ourselves there again. And then we ask these questions and just let the answers come from inside. So the first question is, is it true? And we just wait until our own experience answers it, yes or no. There's only two answers to question one, yes or no, and they're equal. It doesn't matter if it's a yes or it's a no, just so that we know what our answer is. Question two, can you absolutely know it's true? So this is just giving us a second look, a little chance to expand our mind, take another perspective, and really kind of sink a little deeper into it. The third question, how do you react? What happens when you believe this thought? This gives us an opportunity to really mindfully sit in our what we actually do, what we say, what we feel, what our body experiences, what, how we treat the other person, how we treat ourselves or see ourselves, how we view life when we're stressed out by this particular thought. So we, it's kind of like taking an inventory of all the things that happen when we're yeah. believing this stressful thought. What, what are the damages? Yeah, what's the damage of this? And then the fourth question allows us to revisit that mindful practice again, this time without the thought. So question four, who would you be without the thought? Or I like to say, who are you without this thought? Yeah. So that question allows to, again, connect in, be mindful, of where we are, check into those same places without this thought. If we couldn't believe it, what do we notice? What do we notice inside our body? What do we notice in our energy system? 
What do we notice about ourselves? How is it different than before when we were believing it? What do we notice about the other? So who are you without the thought is simply meditating on that same moment without this whole story. And then after we've answered those four questions to our own satisfaction, because that's really what matters, we're finding our own truth here, then we can move to what's called the turnarounds. And these are just another opportunity to expand our mind. The purpose of these is just to open our mind to other possibilities. It's, we're not trying to disprove the original thought. We're not trying to change anything. We're simply trying to try it on and take a look. So for example, an original thought was, he doesn't care about me. We could turn that around into an opposite a number of ways. It could be, I don't care about me. And then we look in that same situation, what we just noticed from answering those questions, and we see where we found examples of that, perhaps. Or this, he doesn't care about me. Another opposite could be, I don't care about him. And maybe what we just noticed when we were believing that thought might actually, we might find some examples. And then another way to turn around is he does care about me. So to try on that one again, we just look back to what we noticed during the answers, our meditation, our mindfulness, to the answers to those questions we just gave. And we, that's where the examples might come from. And if we can't find them there, then we can look outside of that situation. But again, it's just a, it's just a way of opening our mind to other perspectives so that we don't really um, get stuck. You know, we're, we get so stuck in these stressful thoughts that we don't remember that we've ever had an experience outside of it. That's right. Yeah. Taking these questions to, you know, these four questions and then the turnarounds is a way of unsticking ourselves and just giving us that wider perspective that it's like remembering ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. I find it sort of like when I got caught up in my thoughts, it's like I'm wrapped up in a movie and I can't see anything but the movie of that. And I can't get a different perspective. I can't see like what would be the perspective of my spouse on me when this is happening or what would my mother's perspective of me be on me you know i can't lose my perspective i'm so caught up that's the whole delusion of thinking right this thinking mind that's just and it's not really thinking it's just looping around and it's just um it's not when i'm in that place i'm not that smart so this is such a great way to cut through that cut through yeah. the delusion that's that's the nice that's that's that. The movie is, is exactly what's happening. It's like we're watching a horror movie and we're terrified, you know, or we're, you know, afraid for our lives or we're, or we're angered or whatever it is. We're so stuck because we just have forgotten. That's right. That we're in a movie. Probably why we can't sleep, right? I mean, it's probably why we can't, just can't unstick ourselves. We just, something happens sometimes I can go for days without, without remembering or just getting my sanity back. So I'm really excited because in our next segment, you're going to be facilitating me, and that's always a treat. Um, and so I'm welcoming everybody to join us for the next segment, um, where Kelly will show us live what this is about, and really hoping that you can um, derive some benefit as we have from this process. Thanks again, Kelly. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Great.